grow so tall I want to tangle up my twisted limbs with yours I want to lose track of the time I spent without you It's time to make you lose I don't want to lose your Christine from American Reef Flower Farm. Um, so today it's about 96 degrees out. It is May 22nd and I am in zone 9B in California in the Central Valley. Um, if you're new to my channel, I have a backyard flower farm and then we're also starting a two acre UK flower farm. Um, and so today uh, I need to prop some things up. Things are falling over and so um, I need to um, get them supported so that they don't fall over and um, it doesn't mess up the, the angle of the stem. I hate, I hate with the stems. And so, uh, yeah, so we gotta pin those things up. Um, and uh, what else am I gonna do? Oh, I'm gonna plant some banaries. Also, I'm gonna pull out some of my sweet peas because they're fading away. And so I'm gonna pull out the sweet peas and plant some banaries. Um, and so I'm gonna clear that area out and uh, clean up that area a little bit and then um, get some seeds in there. I'm gonna direct sow them. Uh, I'm going to bury them about a quarter of an inch. Let's get started. Okay, so I put some stakes in the ground, some leftover stakes from last year. Um, they're bent, they're not all even, they're a little shorter, um, but it's okay. Um, these plants only grow. The plants I'm supporting are the Indian blanket and the corn flower, the bachelor's button. And there's also some, I wanna say rutabecchia down there at the bottom. And um, they only grow about maybe like three feet, three and a half feet high. So I don't need the stakes to be like way far out of the ground. I just need them to be in the ground firmly and um, high enough up that I can tie some twine just around the center. <laughs> I have an umbrella covering my phone because my phone overheats. And so I'm just gonna tie some twine around, um, around the stakes. now I have that chore done, uh, let's go on to the next thing. So um, let's get this bed ready right here to plant some Benarius Giants. What I'm gonna do is I'm just going to rake it out. I'm just gonna rake up all the big stuff out of it and then I'm gonna uh, use the rake to make it like a little, uh, little uh, divot, like a line um, in the soil so I can drop the seeds in there. I'm gonna plant them about nine inches apart from each other. Okay, so I'm in spider territory right now. I seen um, a gigantic black jumping spider. You know the big, the big hairy ones. They're black. They're like this big, and uh, they have teal-colored eyes, like turquoise eyes. 
so creepy. I hate them. I hate them. Um, and so <laughs> while I was like tying up the stakes and tying up the flowers, I seen it. And, um, so I was like trying to avoid it, like very carefully, like trying to avoid it, not to disturb it. Cause I didn't want it to, um, to come and get me. <laughs> I was also battling bees because bees were like going for the flowers. So what I'm going to plant is a scabiosa mix, zinnias. And I'm also going to plant uh, Isabellina. Isabellina, yeah. This, so this is a yellow, like a buttercream uh, zinnia. Uh, it's a single, however, it's really big. It's like halfway between like a regular zinnia and um, it's, it's, it's just a single zinnia, but it's almost like a scabiosa zinnia, but not really. Um, it's really big. It's like... They were like this big. Is that a good example of it? <laughs> um, so yeah, they're, so they were pretty big. They were like four inches in diameter, maybe three and a half. No, probably about three and a half, four inches. Most useful flower last year. I was able to use them in every single arrangement. Um, there was not one color that they didn't go with. Um, they were just so perfect. And I had a lot of them last year and I wanna make sure I have a lot this year. Uh, the Scabiosa mix that we have uh, this is just a mix, so um, I mean, I don't have much room right here. I'm probably gonna plant maybe like seven zinnias in here. If that, there's there's probably not even enough room for that. Um, so uh, let's hope that I get a good color and uh, let's get planting these. So these, these zinnias grow, uh, the scabiosa one is up to 30 inches and the Isabellina is up to 36 inches. Uh, they actually say six inch spacing on them, so I'm just gonna go with that. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to put compost in here. All right, rewind. just look pretty. It's so perfect looking. Okay, so I got this guy's all planted in. My phone overheated and so I wasn't able to catch the last of it on the camera, on film, on, on video. So uh, what I done was uh, I, I covered them with about a quarter inch of soil and just press them in firmly and now I'm going to water them in. You want to make sure with zinnias and with most seeds, all seeds, uh, that you water them in really well and that you keep them moist and uh, really wet until they actually like sprout and until they get their true leaves. if they get too dry while they're emerging out of their seed, they will not uh, continue to emerge. They will just die. So I'm watering this till it's overly wet, till it's like puddled up. That way I ensure that the water is, uh, that the soil is very wet and will stay wet for at least 12 hours until tomorrow morning when I can water it again. All right, looks like I have two rivers in there. That's in my flower friends. And remember, keep your hands dirty.